good morning everyone so thanks for joining so today we are going to discuss about the some introduction part about the sap basis first of all what is sap so what is erp and the topics which we are going to discuss and also so the timelines and everything will decide today in the agenda class okay so the first of all first of all uh, so sap so what is sap here right sap means normally few people are new to sap here right so let me give some background of the sap is here sap is a system application and product in business data processing so sap means systems applications and the products in business the data processing in your business if you want to process the data business data from one system to another system we need the one system we need the application we need the product product is called the erp product application is called the sap applications system is called the one of the presentation layer system we required so these three are required to process the business data here so right sap sap comes from so erp sap is, is a erp product one of the erp product here erp means enterprise resource planning to plan the resources within the organization we need a one erp product is required under the erp we have the sap then sibel crm and people soft and oracle apps so jd edward there are a the lot of erp products are there in that we are discussing about the one of the erp product is called the sap right sap is just not a one product here one application sap contains there the multiple products are there in the sap here multiple products multiple operations here multiple operations are there here in the erp so yeah so sap So here SAP means it's just not a one application here. In SAP, there are the multiple products like SAP ECC is one of the enterprise core component product. Then SAP NetWeaver, SAP BW, SAP CRM. There are the many business suits. These are all the business suit applications, SRM. Then SAP, so SCM, then SAP TM, transportation management, SAP Yes, for HANA, then SAP Fiori, then SAP HANA database is a database parts. So, like that, SAP MI, there are the number of products are there in the market here, SAP related. So, depends upon the your business, we can install the, the related application, we can related application SAP product, we can install it. Suppose every organization they require the enterprise core component is required right for the real time transactions they will use this one if you are using the warehouse business warehouse analytics purpose this one we are using the sales crm sales customer relationship management sales relationship management transportation management apps based yes. concept business then you can use the sap theory applications we can use it here right so depend upon the your organization depend upon the your business so you can use sap related applications or SAP related products you can install for your own business. You can install it for the business here, right? ECC, NetWeaver, whatever it may be, you can install it here. That is the SAP related products here. SAP related products here. Okay. So here, SAP depends upon your business. We can, but our basis activities, we are the basis consultants here. We are the, our role is here. When we are talking to the in system, our role is here. Our role is SAP basis, SAP basis consultants. We are the consultant here. We are the basis consultants here. So, yes. So, here basis consultant means and as they are the number of companies, they are adopting the, they are worldwide, they are, they are using the SAP system to run their businesses, right? For governing, for governancing the SAP applications and SAP. So, here, to support their activities, to perform the configuration systems, SAP basis is required. 
a common administration platform for handling the all SAP basis related, all SAP basis applications. Whatever the applications we discussed, ECC, Netweaver, Fury, BW, a common administration team is required that we are the basis team is the common administration team to governancing the all the SAP applications systems in the as a SAP basis here, right? So every company nowadays, if you see many companies, they are increasing the number of companies across the world. They are adopting the SAP to run their businesses. So that's why to support their business operations, we required the SAP basis person is required here to handling the issues, to understanding the basics of the basis, their roles and responsibilities are important. That's why so we have some roles and we have the, some responsibilities to understand the basis concepts, what is our work, what is the our professional, as a professional, what we do in the SAP side and all those things we'll discuss here. So that is what here. So basis, normally basis, normally we have with us, we have the basis team, security team, FICO team, finance team, functional team, development team, security team, AP team, the number of teams are there. But we are the administrator for the SAP systems. We'll do the administrator activities here. So SAP basis person, SAP basis person, basis person will do the administration. Is an administrative platform. Administrative platform, he will perform the operating system activities, application level activities, DB level activities, he will perform it here. So we are the backbone for entire SAP landscapes and entire SAP systems, we are backbone here, right? So our data processing, suppose we also some abbreviation is there, for basis also we have the abbreviation here. Business application software integrated solutions. Business application, let me write it here, business, application software integrated solution so that is the abbreviation of the basis here business application software integrated solution support here so we are the administrator so normal support level activities maintenance level activities upgrades migrations jobs daily monitoring fixing the issues installations all kind of things we will do it here so what is the difference security team, ABAP team? So security, they will create the roles. ABAPers, they will do the development. Basis, we will do the all the activities, all the administrators activities here. As a basis consultant, we basis administrator do the everything to in the SAP environment that is running on the, so that is running on, we will do the all the activities here, except development security related things. So some of the basis consultant will handle the so security related things also here, right? So normally our day-to-day -day work is daily monitoring, transports, performance, troubleshooting the systems, right? Troubleshooting the issues, working on the tickets, alerts, optimizing the for fixing the performance issues. So uh, maintenance activities, patching, upgrades, note implementation, supporting to the customers. So for their activities and everything, performance issues, installations, upgrades, migrations, these all are the our basis team our basis admin perform this additional tasks and everything here, right? So this is the performance tuning, performance monitoring, roles, profiles, all those things we required here. So here as a basis consultant, what we have to do, what are the things we need to understand? What are the things we need to learn it here? So we have the course content here. We have the course content here, SAP, the basis consultant, we have the, some course content here, SAP basis, so we have the course content here. If you open the course content, you can see we will discuss about the introduction, system landscape and installation of the ECC systems and administration, user administration part, client administration part and background jobs, client copies, transports, performance tuning, distributed background server groups, transport management, school administrations. So patch, monitoring, introduction about the HANA system. We are going to cover the HANA systems as well. HANA installations, introduction, architecture, users, upgrades, all those things we are going to discuss along with the marketplace, service marketplace, tools overview. And also we are going to discuss about the Java administration as well. The same course we are going to three modules. We are going to learn it here. Java administration, HANA administration, basis administration, 
this three will be covered in the our regular classes here so in the regular classes here so this is about the here so coming to the the daily the daily one hour the classes will run remaining hours you can practice it you will get the videos documentation recording recording videos documentations and server access to practice it you will get it out to practice it here you will also get the hands on on the sap installations sap upgrades so configuration activities all the kind of activities whatever the basis team will do all kind of things you can perform it here so training will be the freshest to the maximum experience level they can go for this training here you will get more knowledge so you will get the more practical and knowledgeable trainings on this sessions here on day to day activities here right so starting we have to discuss to discuss about the installations then after that configurations some of the administration tasks all the tasks we will discuss in the our regular classes in the day to day right so that is the one thing here so coming to the timelines part right the timelines are very important here so daily one hour so uh, then whichever we have to take it out right that we will discuss in the end of the session when we will start the our classes and uh, which hour we have to take it out so maximum we can go for the polling option as well right so this is about here we are going to discuss about the sap basis related activities in the across the all the systems whatever we do after the all the products whatever we do all the activities we will discuss here our activities are common in the all the systems all the ecc bw all the systems our activities are common system common activities here okay this is about the basis related stuff here okay so that's it erp products that's it i think uh, coming to the 